Hello, Ambassador Hakala. Thanks Hello. for joining us today. Let us start talking about security issues in this region, uh, which remains to be one of the main concerns. So what kind of measures in Mushal work is needed and is being done already to prevent risks of spreading terrorism, drugs and weapons trafficking? It's a good question and it's a very big question also because first of all we um, we have to look at terrorism as a wide problem its root causes and and how terrorism is spread um, with the new technologies nowadays um, telephones uh, internet first of all we have to look at the recruitment I mean there are plenty of uh, opportunities to to recruit uh, recruit people and and radicalize people online nowadays it happens a lot so I mean um, we have to look at the big picture so it's about cyber security it is about recruitment radicalization and and the root causes what we do first of all of course naturally you think about borders all of these questions uh, so you have to have a, a very good border management system in place to start with uh, for drug trafficking arms trafficking that's for sure uh, terrorism is a wider issue as i said so we have to tackle with these issues uh, in one big complex uh, framework we do international cooperation we cooperate of course with central asian countries we have several programs for all these issues you mentioned financing uh, we are also through the un and the osce we do, do together uh, cooperation with interpol europol so all these issues are very very um, complex uh, nowadays with the new security threats but it can be done at least uh, to improve uh, our knowledge our cooperation uh, share of information yeah. dialogue so um, all this has to be done and, and um, I'm confident that we can improve that cooperation also in the future Will, will this work be strengthening in the future on this regard, on, on the issues of security? Yes, yes. look, I mean, uh, actually, uh, we have been discussing with Kazakhstan, but also with other Central Asian countries in our regional dialogue about improved cooperation um, in counterterrorism, uh, also, um, you know, mitigating the risks of radicalization, extremism. Yeah, it's very important. It's very important and, and it happens I, It happens everywhere. But when we talk about the, the big risks, uh, this comes also with the, um, with the new technologies. So we have to understand better what's going on online and offline. Mm -hmm. This platform, I mean, Central Asian Security mm -hmm. and Cooperation yes. Forum gathered experts and diplomats from uh, countries like Japan, USA, European Union from one side, and uh, Iran, Russia, China from the other side. So what is potential for finding some common solutions uh, within the context of the future of Asia? Well, look, I mean, I think this has been, first of all, I want to, to uh, comment um, the Institute for Strategic Studies. I mean, they've done a great job organizing this event. It's two days intensive dialogue uh, and talk. And I think it's, it's a good start. Of course, we have a polarized um, narratives uh, in today's uh, geopolitical context, but, but there's a lot of willingness to try to find ways and, and mm -hmm. solutions for enhanced dialogue. And it's it's uh, it's a good start for that. I, I would say that there are opportunities as we speak. Also, there is a big meeting going on in Jakarta, EU ASEAN um, summit, and uh, I, I see that um, that's the only way out. I mean, to have dialogue, and 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 this forum has shown that uh, the think tankers, academia, politicians, diplomats are. Um, engaging themselves mm -hmm. in the dialogue and so and of course di dialogue is possible i mean dialogue is always possible i mean you cannot you always have to 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 talk to people and and have the dialogue so absolutely 
Mm-hmm. The transit and transport potential of of this region, Central Asia, was uh, mentioned several times. Uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan has just welcomed this idea of um, making Central Asia an international logistic hub. So, how do you think what Central Asia could be in the future? Well, I. <sighs> Connectivity is the the topic of the day. I mean, it is also the priority of the EU Central Asia cooperation, EU Kazakhstan cooperation. You have been promoting uh, the middle corridor for years already. It's in place. Uh, Now what we have done actually in the regional context is that we have launched this dialogue on connectivity. We have actually paid uh, for a uh, study on sustainable uh, transport, which was conducted by the EBRD. Uh, We launched it uh, in Samarkand last year and also in in Almaty, in our economic forum. It's out online, so everybody can go and see uh, what the results are. Um, We have to work to improve the connectivity very much with Kazakhstan, but with also with the whole region. It's about um, transport, it's about uh, digitalization. Our our services have, uh, have, so to say, paperless borders. I mean, to speed up the uh, the delivery deliveries and the timings for for transport of goods uh, this is going on and of course it takes some time it doesn't happen overnight when we speak about um, how to upgrade our our logistics and and uh, improve the port facilities I mean, let's let's say here for instance the Aktau port i visited myself so there are there's serious work going on, uh, not just between European Union and and um, Central Asia or Kazakhstan uh, also in that matter, but um, with other countries like Japan, India, Turkey. So, so this is a bigger Asia. It's a bigger Asia issue, absolutely. And and I think that it's, it's clear and in today's world, we have to have diversified uh, logistics, diversified connections, because um, you cannot be dependent on one route only. It's it's quite dangerous for for the business and and uh, to be right. only only dependent on certain routes. And what are the main challenges and obstacles of uh, on, on the way of this uh, connectivity idea? I think money. We need money to to, to build new <laughs> railways. I think era. yeah. I think there is a political yeah, political will absolutely. So, um, but a lot of financing is needed. Of course, the European Union is now um, working um, in a Team Europe spirit, as we say. So we are taking on board all EU institutions, EU member states, twenty seven of them then banks, financing institutions, also private sector is playing a very important role here. And I would say that, um, well, there is money around, of course, but the point point is that we have to, to get it uh, where the priorities are and, and then work. I mean, we have to speed up the processes, absolutely. But there's, there's a political will from the European side. It has been declared there's political will from uh, the Central Asian side, especially yesterday, ministers were talking about it a lot. Yes. And, and I think it's, uh, we just have to sit down and get to the work. And how does uh, European Union see the potential of its future cooperation with Kazakhstan in general? And this- Well, there is a big, big potential. I mean, I think that we have seen uh, the increased activities. We have actually, um, upgraded the level in that sense that Central Asia, also Kazakhstan, we are talking on the highest level from president to president. Uh, Also in European countries, we've seen several uh, European high-level visits 
Yes, we, in we, can, Kazakhstan. we can say it like an activization of Yes, I think that, yeah, it's, it's clear. It's clear. It's, it's on a daily, happening on a daily basis. It's getting very natural that we have these high level contacts, telephone calls, uh, meetings uh, bilaterally, but also right. Central Asian leaders with the European Union. So I see a big potential. We have our framework agreements which are up and running. We have uh, uh, increased activities. We signed the memorandum of critical raw materials. So the supply chain will be established better with the connectivity, improved connectivity. Of course, we have a lot. We have uh, private sector uh, interested in Kazakhstan, in Central Asia. We just have to create the, the, the good uh, conditions for that one. We work with academia, civil society, which is an important part of this cooperation. I mean, civil society is is uh, actually the um, one which flourishes very much on both sides. So, so we try to kind of engage everybody, uh, educational cooperation. So, I I see a lot of perspectives for the future still to activate. You can always activate more, but I would say that I'm quite satisfied myself how it looks nowadays. The potential is there and it's basically endless. Yes. And finally, do you agree with the thought, with the idea that 21st century will become a century of Asia? Well, time will show. Time will show. I mean, absolutely, there, there is a lot of activities, a big potential in Asia, absolutely, but also uh, big challenges. Let's, let's face it, we need sustainable development everywhere. We need to cooperate. We need to have a dialogue. And, and uh, absolutely, the, the growth, economic growth is in Asia. And let's see now how we all can can make it work in that sense that um, what will happen, I think, uh, at this point, uh, main thing is to find dialogue and cooperate. That's, that's very important. Sure. Thanks. Yes, that's the foundation. Yes. Thank you, Ambassador Thank Kala, you. for joining us and answering our questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.